for fastest and cheapest Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's going on, buddy? Tony Fire here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run the glitchiest coverage defense in Madden 20. And it's going to come to us out of the 3 4 odd formation. The play we're going to be running today is going to be this cover 3 cloud. Now, um, you can run a lot of these uh, adjustments that I'm doing out of a different formation, so you don't have to be 3 4 odd, but. Uh, I've been running 3-4 odd all year. It's by far probably my most called formation by a landslide And I'm just overall more comfortable in it. So that's what I'm going to be running in uh, Granted if you don't have great linebackers if you feel fast linebackers I would recommend just going to a big nickel over G and running safeties at linebacker But like I said, we're gonna be running cover 3 cloud uh, Just make sure you get some fast linebackers and you will be good to go um, It's definitely better to have D linemen, but I'm gonna show you guys a variation of setups to best suit your play style so um, let's just go against a random shotgun pass right off the bat what I always like doing out of 3-4 odd no matter what is base align you guys see look how far the, out those linebackers are especially against a five wide type look you're gonna want to bring those in it's just gonna be more clean on your screen and it's really just gonna be uh, way easier for you to look at now the most basic setup that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be this one basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put I'm just going to go ahead, put cloud flats on my field. You guys see we have a hard flat and we have a curl flat. Both those zones are pretty bad. So the way we're going to get cloud flats is just uh, shade underneath, which is Y right stick down. Shade over the top, Y right stick up. You guys know this. Now we have two cloud flats, but I'm really not a fan of these hook curl zones. I don't know about you guys, but I hate them. And the way we're going to basically get rid of them is just going to be go ahead, put our Y linebacker in a vertical hook and then we're gonna go ahead and blitz x now you could also spy x but what this is gonna do is just gonna put that linebacker in a vertical hook you might actually want to move him back um just a couple of steps so that he can't get beat on like a streak or something and then you're just gonna use this hook curl now you can also go ahead like i said spy this guy uh you can do a variation of things for now i'm just gonna go ahead blitz him and then out of three four i'd like to do is just shade um or slant my d line outside like i said this is a very basic setup we just have a cover three on one side cover two on the other you might also want to shade outside and you can actually move williams over i know that you might not have a lot of time to do that but um once you get these adjustments down you'll have probably a lot of time just to make those types of adjustments so we're just going to snap the ball you guys see everything's pretty much bagged and by the time those slow routes develop we're going to go ahead and get that pressure now Again, that adjustment. Um, if you see them in like a trip set like this, something I like to do is I'm just going to go ahead, flip the play real quick. I'm going to make sure that I am base aligned, and then I'm just going to go ahead, put B in our vertical hook. I always like having my vert hook to the trip side. That's just something that I prefer. Now, I'm not sure if you have auto flip on, then the trip side is always to the cover two, but I like having cover two to the trip side, cover three to the other side. That's just me personally, but again, I'm just going to go ahead, shade underneath, shade over the top, get those cloud flats, and then let's just blitz Kiko Alonso and use this linebacker right here, slanting outside, and I always like to shade outside as well. Um, that's just me personally. If you want this vert hook to play a little bit more shallow, you can go ahead, shade underneath, but that's just going to throw off everything. Let's just go ahead and snap the ball right here. You guys see we're using everything, nothing really open, and we're going to go ahead and get pressure now. Uh, like I said, I can't really control the plays I run. Uh, this is practice mode, so I am limited, but trust me, this defense definitely does bag in games. Now, in a situation like this, I'm always running, probably always going to run cover three to the vertical side. Here's where we might actually get a little bit more adjusty because against verticals, actually, I'm always running cover two. Scratch that. I don't know why I just said cover three. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip the play right off the bat. I'm always going to base the line. Now, against a formation like Bunch, cover two is typically going to destroy against the side, but you could actually leave this outside third. Um, I always love having soft squats against verticals or gun bunch in particular. I feel like it plays better than a cloud flat, but um, we all have our personal preferences. Now, um, I'm also going to go ahead and shade outside because I want to stop those corner routes and... What I usually like to do is just put X in a vertical hook. I'm going to go ahead and blitz this guy. And then I might also put maybe Y in a curl flat or something. There's a lot of different things you can do. 
Um, I could go ahead and put or this white linebacker in a curl flat, move him over. Something like this um, is a very good setup. I like having the vert hook on the weak side just to stop maybe a quick slant, a quick in route, something of that nature. You could also try to man him up, but this is a very basic setup I like to run against what well, might not be basic to you, but just a simple setup to beat like a verticals or a gun bunch formation. Uh, if they do have a scrambling quarterback, I like to slant outside and contain. Uh, for now, I'm just slanting outside. And this is our basic setup, really worrying about anything, any quick streaks, dig routes, hitches over the middle. We know we don't really have to worry about that left side. And uh, also watching that corner route, we get a drag, we get a post route. You guys see that's absolutely bagged. We're gonna go ahead and get that sack fumble. And yeah, so if you have good enough pass rushers, you should be able to get pressure relatively quickly. Especially if you get those good shed animations on the outside. Again, I'm base aligning. I see that the trip side is on the left. I can keep my cover two. Uh, so I'm going to call it a cover two. It's not really a cover two because we do have the outside third. But again, I'm shading it underneath over the top. You can go ahead and actually keep this little soft squat if you want. You're, you'll just have to manually put him back in the soft squat, which is just the left stick to the right. Now, um, getting more advanced again here. Uh, against trips, what I always like to do is I'm always going to man this player up. Now, if you want to get super adjusty, you could go ahead and move this player over, man him up on the receiver, and then I like to put Kiko Alonso in the middle third. Uh, in this case, you were very vulnerable to these tight end type streaks, so I might put B in a deep half, something like this, and then I'm using this player. Um, if you have enough time, try to get this guy all the way over, and then I'm I might actually even try to bring that guy down because you could hit an out route, something of that nature, but this is a very good defense to run. Uh, we're really only worried about routes over the middle, coming from left to right particularly, or even that tight end on like a post route. So we'll go ahead, snap the ball here. It does look like level sail, something of that nature. We're just going to use her that corner route. And you guys saw if they threw it to B, I could have clicked on to Lattimore, I think, and made a play on the ball. So overall, just a great coverage defense. Again, I'm going to get a little bit more adjusty. This is going to be super like adjustment based, but uh, another setup is where you want, you get a ton of speed. You're just going to confuse your opponent. And the way you do that, is I'm actually just going to put X in a D outside quarter. And then I'm just going to put Y in a curl flat, A in a curl flat. I'm going to make sure I shade underneath over the top. And then I'm going to put B in a vertical hook and A in a middle third. Now this is very adjusty. Make sure you have a fast middle linebacker, and I even recommend moving him back. Now, it really does depend on the side you want to run the quarter to. Typically, you want to run on the weak side, so in this case, I probably should have just put it on that other side, so we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. If he's hitting you with these sort of coverage beaters, you can just put deep halves on your field, and that will prevent it. Most of you, of you guys probably know that already, but um, here's a look at the defense again. Pretty unique. I might also spread, move my D-line over to the right just so we get a more even rush. Then I'm slanting outside. Go ahead and snap the ball right here. You guys see everything is pretty much bagged. I, I was late on that in route, but you guys see. We do get pressure. That setup is only rushing three people. So uh, I, always, I typically like to ha have four, but in cases like that, or if they're just killing me with the route, I could always make that extra adjustment now. Blitzing that middle linebacker is not really going to do too much anyway because they typically have terrible pass rush stats. You can make that adjustment, put like your coverage guy here, put your blitzer here, but you're always going to be flipping. Um, again, another setup I have is where I like to go ahead and soft squat X, and I'm actually going to go ahead and man up Y on this Y receiver. This is for like doubles formations. Uh, this soft squat is going to play a streak really well, so we don't even really have to worry about that. And then on this right side, I'm just going to put A in a curl flat, something like this. And then I'm actually just going to blitz B. This is more of a blitz type of a setup. Um, what I like to do is also either man up A with our middle linebacker on the right side, or you can just put this guy in the middle third, user him. Here we get five man pressure. It's a little bit better on that from the pressure standpoint. And this is a great setup against gun doubles. Just make sure you watch out. I would recommend shading outside again. In case he does hit you with like a corner route right here you're really watching the tight end in case he goes on like an out route or an in route and then you also have to watch maybe any man beaters from y something of that nature let's just go ahead snap our ball right here using we're watching rb 
watching why you guys see everything is absolutely bagged right there and i want to show you guys one last setup here basically it's just going to sort of turn this into a cover three on both sides and it's just going to be y and curl flat x and a outside third and then you're just going to go ahead and basically um what i like to do is i actually like to go ahead put b in a vertical hook and put this linebacker in a curl flat something like this and move them over there you guys see everything on the right should be bagged and this is sort of a cover three setup I'm, again i'm going to put those clad flats on my field um i definitely recommend this setup it's a very good setup and you just really want to mix and match you don't want to come out in the same adjustments every play because your opponent's going to catch on it'll find like a corner route something that will absolutely destroy it there you guys see everything looks bagged and yeah so like i said just completely mix it up throw outside quarters man different players up put different players in those outside zones vertical hooks you could go ahead and mix in maybe a six-man blitz with a cover two cover three on the side and just defend the middle yourself there's a lot of different things you could do just to throw off your opponent and that is why i love cover three cloud not only for the stock coverage but just because of how easy it is for me to disguise coverages and just throw off my opponent completely from a passing standpoint and also out of this three four out it's gonna be pretty difficult for me to run the ball maybe out of shotgun uh, rather than maybe a big nickel over G so that's kind of a reason that I also like using the 3-4 odd but that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for some more Fire Madden 20 content in the future drop a follow on Twitter link will be in the description and peace I'm out of here